everyone, and we are live. Welcome to Rascal Comedy, the only show that forces comedians to come on and get interrogated about their lives. How's it going, guys? My name is Jack Mack. Got a great, uh, great lineup for you tonight. What's going on in the world? Um, I think everyone's getting back to civilization. I hear, I see like live gigs are happening in the UK. I don't know why. I don't know why anyone from the UK would be on this show. Um, yeah, that looks great. I mean, COVID it, it really took the world by storm. It was breathtaking. <laughs> uh, I I actually got COVID over Christmas, and when I had it and I was all bumped up, I kept listening to Cardi B's WAP over and over again on repeat. But uh, my doctor did say I would lose my sense of taste. <laughs> so I'm the audience, so I'm trying to laugh at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just you explaining laugh, to my like... friends why I'm laughing to myself in the middle of the woods. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're saying we're gonna. You'll see Josh later, but you're, you're like, oh, he's just out in the forest, and he's just yeah, doing a little we, fairy nymph. We once had a guy on, and he was at work, and like, he was at his desk, and he was doing stand up, and then he went out for a cigarette break, and he'd wash from the show. You know, hey, uh, anything could happen. Um, yeah, these Zoom gigs are interesting. Um, I mean, the first one I did, I logged on, and halfway through my set, a hacker came in and just started blasting porn onto the screen. So I logged off. I was like, there is no way I can compete with those type of gags. She obviously <laughs> looks like she's more experienced in everything. You know, I'm not gags. Saying, gags, you know. <laughs> It was the wrong type of gags. Yes. <laughs> I, just, I don't, I'm, I'm just want to say I don't have anything against, you know, sex workers or any of that, you know. Um, if anything, when I watch those type of films, it is usually the most, they are so fake, except with the chat at the beginning. They are the most honest job interview I've ever seen. Like, imagine the next time you're in a job interview, you're on the casting couch, your employer comes up and goes, so tell me, why do you want to do retail? The money, you know, you just <laughs> look them straight in the eye and, and just be honest. I'm here, for, I'm here for the money, for the money shot. Okay, guys, that's enough of me. Let's oh. meet our comedians. Look, Josh, we got Jimmy, and we got me. Uh, Josh is in the Ooh. forest. <laughs> yes, is it sunny? Sunny in Canada, very sunny today. So, I've got uh, I brought actually uh, an umbrella with me, uh, and it's it's got the Canadian flag on it, so I'm ready. I'm ready in case there's too much sun. Okay. Because I'm very pale and, and I burn easily. Or if people attack you and they don't speak English or they don't speak any language and you're like, no, I'm not American. I'm Canadian. Yeah. I open it up and they're like, oh, Canada. Exactly. Yeah. All the Canadians that, you know, when they backpack <laughs> through Europe, they all wear Canadian flag on, you know, like the patch on their backpacks. People go, okay, you're not American. I think Americans yeah. even do that now too. So Really? Yeah. They're like... Uh, you know, because nobody, nobody likes America, but nobody really likes Canada. But I think people don't know really enough about Canada to hate them. I don't think so. I think, yeah, you're like, yeah. Well, a lot comes out of America, you know, a lot of the media. Yeah, it's funny because, I mean, it's interesting how it sort of seems like the default, like what everyone talks about, you know, we need more diversity in media or, or you know, how come we need more TV shows and movies? I'm like, well... I mean, there's entire continents with diversity. Like, why, why does America, why is America everything? Like, there's the Nigerian film industry, which is all black people. Like, you know, if that's what you want, why don't you go watch that? Bollywood. Bollywood, exactly. That's, yeah, another good example. is like, there's an entire industry of nothing but Indian people. But everybody's like, oh, you know what? We need one more Indian person in Hollywood. It's like, why do you give Hollywood so much power and like because yeah. it's like just it's it's yeah it's like it's, it's basically saying well no all that counts is america and then people hate america well just ignore it then go somewhere else i don't know about you well do you find it offensive when americans play canadians <laughs> uh yeah I, what, offensive no well have you ever seen an american play a canadian i doubt they do i don't know i don't think so because there's so many canadian actors they'll just they'll just make one of them you know, like, I mean, all the Americans, like Jim Carrey's Canadian, Jim Ryan Carrey, Reynolds yeah. is Canadian. All these guys are Canadian. So, but I wouldn't want an American taking my job. Like, if that's my big chance to play a Canadian and they come up and they're like, oh, we've cast like 
Zac Efron to play you. And I'm like, well, I understand that we look the same, but he's not from the same country. He's like, it would be offensive. I would be very angry. Because like any time, well, most times Irish people are in Hollywood. It's always this high. Well, hello. Like, yeah, Americans are taking our jobs. That's, that's how we have to know that you're, a, you're Irish. You've got to like dial it up. Yeah, talk like that. Hello, I'm Colin Farrell. Yeah, it's it's terrible though. The accent is really like I don't know if you heard about that film they did recently. Uh, it's Christopher Walken's playing an Irishman. You know the way Chris talks. So, so does, he do, does he do an Irish <laughs> accent? But he's trying. He's like, I have a farm. <laughs> it's crazy. I live beside the Muldoons. How? I, I, I eat my lucky my, my lucky charms. They're magically delicious. Give me those lucky charms for. <laughs> so, do you know? Because you're in Ireland, do you know what lucky charms are? Did you grow up seeing commercials for lucky charms? Yeah, um, really. We were like, I've never. I think I had them once in a so, novelty shop. Okay, so they don't, North they don't... Americans tell us about them all the time, though. <laughs> okay, so that's the only thing we know. Like, hey, Lucky yeah. Charms. Because, like, here it's like, wow, it's this little Irish, you know, what do you call those guys? The, the little Leprechaun. <laughs> leprechauns, right. But for you, it'd be like, oh, finally, like, a cereal that's normal and somebody who speaks normal. Like, is that, <laughs> ah, finally, Lucky Charms. That's, that's like, to you, that's just like Cheerios. It's like, of course, yeah. it's just yeah. a regular thing. All our, all our food is Lucky Charms. Yeah, we're like lucky, lucky drink, lucky, lucky toilet paper, <laughs> lucky, lucky slice of bread. Everything's in the shape of a diamond or a rainbow or a pot yes. of gold. You must have the four leaf clover. Oh, the four leaf clover! That's right, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Is, is that what your loaves of bread look like? They're all cut in the shapes of four leaf clovers. Yeah, I might surprise you to learn. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, Jimmy, Jimmy's Scottish, so. Oh, I was going to mm. say, he sounds like he has an accent, but it sounds different than yours. Yes. I can do a Scottish accent. Do it. Thanks, do it. Do it. <laughs> All right. All right. Here's, me. here's me being Scottish. Oh, do you have lucky charms in Canada? Oh, oh no, our, our slices of bread, they, they aren't the same. Right, now, you're mix, now you're mixing up your stereotypes. <laughs> yeah. I, well, no, I was, I, was, I was doing my impression of you doing yelling at, at Jack. Uh, uh, I don't, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's all the same, Scotland, Ireland, <laughs> like, whatever. Now, Jimmy, yeah, it's all the same, thanks. And, and you say, like, Americans are ignorant. No, no, it's, that, there was a Mike Myers uh, Saturday Night Live skit a long time ago where somebody, like, he was playing a Scottish guy and somebody was going, Ireland, Scotland, same thing. Oh, wait, wait, you look at this, look at the map. There's a river or, or the ocean between them or something. He gets really mad, like, showing that it's different locations. Is that so I married the Max Murderer, but his dad's Scottish? Well, there's that. He plays a million... Scottish characters like that's where I first heard the Scottish accent and that's what I used as my template when I when I yeah, played a Scottish guy in a oh, really? it shows it you shows just, yeah well I went straight to the authentic yeah so I you went fat bastards yeah well years ago I, I wrote a, a commercial about a little mini guy that was like mad because he was in the commercial for mini granola bites Nutrigrain mini granola bites it's like I'm not sure why they call them mini because they're huge and he takes them out and they're bigger than him and, uh, and I did it with the Scottish accent. And the client was like, hey, we like the way you presented it. We want you to be the actor. And so I did it. And then for the second commercial, they got like a uh, dialect trainer to work with me. But she was like, you pretty much got it. It's pretty much it. So, yeah. And people yeah, who watch like, it. I feel like this conversation is as well. <laughs> We've said, oh, I hate when... I hate when American people play Irish people. And then you were like, yeah, I just did the Scottish accent. And <laughs> yeah, I guess. Them. Well, that's that's the big thing now, right? You're not no actor is supposed to play anybody who's not exactly their ethnicity or accent or anything, uh, you know. So I probably true. probably today, I'm sure that I would be cancelled. The, the the Scots lobby would come after me. Scottish lives matter. <laughs> yeah, I'd be I'd be uh, shut freedom. down. That's what they say. Freedom! You can take our lives, but you cannot take our freedom. Have you ever seen the movie uh, Braveheart? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the other thing. Lucky Charms and Braveheart. That's what we know about Scotland and Ireland. I feel like we're learning a lot about Canada at the moment. But wait a minute, Mel Gibson's from Australia. I genuinely don't. I, think, I genuinely don't know if I should tell you to get out of Canada more or stay there. <laughs> 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 Could go either way. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll, I should probably stay home. But maybe I'll travel the world and, and you know open my mind and 
and and then I can do a YouTube. Oh, show, definitely but... do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll bring my kilt to Scotland. And be like, I'm here. I'm here to to wear a kilt like all of you. Do that in Glasgow. Definitely do Glasgow. that in Glasgow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. Especially stuff you all see around the, around about ten p.m. on a Saturday night. Fucking brilliant. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do my <laughs> he, I'll do my stand up on a corner in Glasgow. I'm like, hello! And then I'll walk over to Ireland and be like, look, I'm gonna do jokes about Bono. You all love Bono, right? Oh, like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all. No. no, they're too edgy. Too, too hey. edgy. <laughs> uh, uh, the Scottish band I know, it's the, uh, the Cranberries. Like, no, yeah. Irish. They're Northern Irish. <laughs> Well, they're Irish too. I don't know. Northern uh, Irish, different country. <laughs> right. Okay. So, well, I, you see, look at me. I'm touring Europe. Yeah. You're, you're, you're getting a Canadian's, <laughs> eye, a Canadian's eye view of uh, Britain. Like, is England, is Great Britain, is Scotland and Ireland part of Great Britain? Is that how it all works? Ireland isn't, because we were we no. rebelled. Right. Okay. You were tough. So the British Scotland Isles is the two countries. Yeah. Mm. But the four. The four. But the Scots have tried. They had an independence in 2014. Right. And if you think all that's confusing, you should see how they fight about it over here. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure it, it uh, you know, people are going to fisticuffs while drinking Guinness and arguing about it or whatever. Nah, it's not quite so cuddly. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish it was more like that. It'd be more entertaining. Yeah. Oh, I, I, saw, I saw in the name of the father. That's about something there. <laughs> with, 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 with Daniel all your Lewis. references just films you're like it's yeah. all this this is all I know I don't have any friends <laughs> true I've, fair I've, I've never been anywhere you and and how <laughs> at, at the moment in Canada are all the clubs opening up uh in Ottawa, we're still closed down yeah. for like another week, but then I think, and they just announced that uh, they're doing the Yuck Yucks, that's the local comedy club. They're going to be doing shows on the roof of a patio somewhere uh, oh, all nice. summer, so I'm just going to enter their, their outdoor summer comedy contest. <laughs> we're, we're a lot slower than the U.S. in getting our vaccines. Like, I don't have my appointment till next week, but apparently <laughs> most people in the U.S. have been vaccinated for a long time. And actually, my friend in Washington, D.C., he just said, yeah, we're out at a bar again, we're out partying. I'm like, we're, we're too old to do that now, but yeah. so, go ahead. So, so when do you think you'll get a chance to throw another shrimp on the barbie? Oh, sorry, that's Australia. <laughs> hey, I saw Crocodile Dundee. I know all about Australia. July 4th, July the 4th of July. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. that's American, babe. That's offensive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll throw another. Oh, an Australian accent's tough. Let me try to be like, You're... I'm Australian. Throw another, we'll throw another shrimp on the barbie for ya. I'm Crocodile Dundee. That's my Australian accent. Please, please so you've done all these accents, but I noticed you didn't do one when you mentioned Nigeria and India. <laughs> oh, you can't do those because that's offensive. You can only do accents. <laughs> At least you know that much. <laughs> yeah, you can only do accents of white people. Fair. It's too bad because the other ones are funny. If you say something in Indian accent, it naturally sounds amusing. But... <laughs> But you can't do it. Oh, that cancel culture. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> why, why, we're, why we're here, Josh? Are you ready to do some comedy? That's that's what I've been doing. I, I don't have any <laughs> jokes. You, you, you want, told me you, I could just show up and talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can absolutely. I I haven't done any comedy since um, like you know, we were in that class together. I haven't even opened my file and looked at it, and I was never even happy with my act at the time. Um. But I've entered a contest uh, next for next month, so I better start writing some jokes. Your, your stuff was good. I know. I don't remember the, the exact jokes. I mean, I could go into my Google Doc. But I know you did like me talking about um, how I live in my parents' basement. Uh, yeah, I love that. I can't remember if I had a joke about it, but that's pretty much the joke. Remember, um, I, I think I remember your acts better than you do. Remember? And you yeah. kidnapped. And oh, right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the joke? What's the joke there? I say, oh, yeah, I'm a prisoner in my parents' basement. And then I got some jokes that make it sound like I was kidnapped. But, yeah. then, but then I'm not really, obviously. Like, my parents say things like, you can leave at any time. I don't know. The, our, <laughs> our teacher in the class kept saying, you know what? Maybe you should stop doing that stuff because people don't know. Like, they just think it's sad. Like, they think, <laughs> they think maybe you really, like, there's nothing in your face that says maybe you aren't really a prisoner in your parents' basement. And, they, and, I, and I need help. So... <laughs> So, yeah, that, that, oh, that's right. There was something about, 
Oh, you know, they, yeah, they say things like, like the other day I came down to the basement after my shower and, and, and it was painted on the wall, get out. And I thought, oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's a nice Netflix uh, suggestion. I should watch that movie. So that was the joke that I was acting like my parents were keeping. Do you, me- do you remember the, the, the joke you had about wanting to move to jail? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I was, I was talking about how, um, you know, I, I could move out, but I, I, I feel very lonely. Like as a grown up, I wish I could experience the fun of living in university residence again. And, uh, and I decided, yeah, like the equivalent for, for adults would be jail. So I want to go to jail. I'd have like friends. I'd have a roommate. I'd have friends down the hall. I'd have sex whenever I want <laughs> or don't want. Because, yeah, that, 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 that was that whole sad thing. And then for some reason, I was doing an impression of Schwarzenegger because I was in prison with him. Uh, I don't remember why. I know I... I saw a movie with him and Sylvester Stallone and they were in prison. So then I, cause I'd like to work in my Schwarzenegger impression. Uh, what, what was the point of that? I was like, he was, oh yeah, he was asking me, ah, I should have prepared for this. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember why I, I was talking to him in prison, but there was something I, I do you remember was what my job was? Was he you work out or something? Was he your, your yeah, he, uh, he asked me something. Uh, Oh, I, I told people, yeah, I don't know. There was something like I was just telling people, you know, we could be like, basically prison would be fun. Like the only, sa- the only bad part is that, you know, you guys try to kill each other. Like if you can just stop stabbing <laughs> each other, it's basically like summer camp. So can you all agree that? And then, but my roommate would be like, no, but I like to stab people. And I'd be like, <laughs> I don't know. But there was some other thing that I said in Schwarzenegger's accent, but I can't remember what it was. I'll... Um, and then, and then I went on to like, okay, I'm going to move into a retirement home, but that never really got funny. Um, I, I think there's, there's something there. There's definitely something there. Though. You're there's... moving to places that look up. It's just a joke workshop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that more was like the, a workshop. Well, that was my other little joke about prison that, you know, it would be great to do the comedy at the talent shows because talk about a captive audience because <laughs> they're, they can't go anywhere because they're in prison. Um, <laughs> so there was that. Right. Josh, uh, we're going we're gonna to move on. Thank you. To, oh, <laughs> you, you. You can stay if you want or you can go. Yeah, I'll probably go. You can see there's lots of people here uh, having picnics. It's very idyllic. I'm, I'm in Lord of the Rings here, so... You know, uh, nice. I will enjoy that. But thank you for having me. Next no time, problem. I'll uh, I'll prepare some comedy for you, <laughs> for your you, comedy you show. You brought the comedy. You, I you did the comedy. bring the comedy. <laughs> I brought the comedy. I've offended everybody in the world. So yeah, we're good. <laughs> no, cool. <I> do <laughs> Yeah. Well, you brought the right. comedy. All right. Well, thanks for having me. And uh, no problem. And good luck with uh, you know rebelling <laughs> from England or whatever you're up to there. We'll do. We'll keep you posted. Okay, let me know how it goes. Keep you posted. I'll, I'll offer you a sanctuary in Canada. We got lucky charms. You'll love it here. Please do. It looks amazing. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, Josh. <laughs> and that was Josh, everybody. I started off with water, finished with wine at the end of his set. <laughs> was that because of all his stereotypes? <laughs> they just kept going, didn't they? <laughs> I know. I I love. I was like, "Are you ready to do some comedy?" He was like, "No, no, this is it. I'm I'm just gonna talk." I was like, "Fair, fair enough." He's not no. <laughs> yeah. Ironically, I was going to come on and really moan about cancel culture and do some offensive stereotypical voices. So he was stealing my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love things like, like they're the funny accents, but you you, ha- you can only do white people. <laughs> this is the rules. Oh my god! No, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. So yeah, man, it's, funny. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. good. It's good. We're gonna move on to our next comedian. It is Maeve. 